I would do YouTube is the board. Prodigy by react to angry feminists are trying to can Twitch. For enjoy the video. I greatly appreciate if you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification. Everything will be in the description below what's happening to this. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're going to be taking a look at honestly one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Just like imagine putting all this time and effort into keeping your company so woke that you actually end up being canceled woke. by a bunch of window lickers on Twitter. Like, this is literally the Twitch staff that Twitter is trying to cancel at the moment. You know why, fellas? You know why? Because they don't respect the LGBTQ. Take one good look at this individual right here, okay? I don't even know what gender it identifies as. That's but, dude, up. I guarantee that this science experiment <laughs> has its pronouns blasted <laughs> all over the goddamn planet. Imagine trying to cancel that person because they don't respect the LGBT. Like, come on. Are you seriously kidding me right now? Anyways, this room temperature IQ individual decided on. to tweet out streamers and viewers. Just a reminder that September 1st is a day off Twitch. Twitch isn't doing enough to protect its LGBTQIA+. Plus. Oh my god. How many fucking letters are we going to add to that? And the BIPOX and disabled creators. So this is our way of showing that change must be made. No streaming, chatting, or watching. We deserve safety. Just like, imagine not feeling safe while you stream Animal Crossing from the comfort of your own home. Honestly, the saddest part of this whole situation is that I really doubt Twitch would even hire someone that's straight. But if you walked up in that headquarters and said something like, uh, I like dick in my butt, like you could be the most unqualified candidate for that position. You're going to get it, bro. You're literally going to get How do you want a gun job. I really wow. just don't get it, bro. Like, That's Twitch crazy, changed man. their profile picture on Twitter to the gay pride flag in June. What do you mean they don't yeah. respect the LGBT? I, was say, Anyways, Twitch I decided to go out and do a little bit of my own research because I was kind of curious. What actually sparked this whole no streaming on Twitch for a day movement? The article starts off by saying, In recent months, with the phenomenon of hate raids, barrages of racist, sexist, anti-Semitic, and homophobic abuse has been making life increasingly unpleasant for minority users of Twitch. Raven, a black 31-year-old who identifies as gender non-binary, fought back tears. Oh, oh my God, are you fucking God, I'm tired, bro. I guess he was really working hard to hold them tears back as he described the mental toll of logging onto Twitch. I guess Raven tweeted out, y'all, this person has been getting... If Twitch give you a mental toll, just don't go back to it, bro. They don't see me for a couple of days or weeks. A non-stop hate raid since she went live over an hour ago. An hour, including raids from her full name and this BS. All right, listen, guys. I'm not a fan of doxing, like, using her full name and stuff. I don't really agree with that. Now, if my name got leaked, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I could truly care less. It's not like your life is over at that point. You're going to fucking die. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be a little extreme about the situation. But at the same time, I'm not a fan of it. It's a leak of privacy. It's like leaking someone's address, really. You get someone's full name. You can find out where they work, where they, like, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying here. I'm not a fan of that particular part of this situation. But, like, you're honestly this fucking mad because someone raided you in their profile picture is the Nazi symbol that says politically incorrect. This might actually be the softest shit Can I've ever heard in my life. This is what mentally scars you that actually made you want to fucking cry. So anyways, here's the deal, all right? You can sit here and bitch about these hate raids you're getting and whine and cry about it all you fucking want. But this Twitch is actually savage. already one step ahead of the game. They implemented this new feature. I think it was about six years ago they implemented this feature. You can turn off raids from random people. You know what? I'm actually in a good mood today, all right? I'll show you idiots how to do this. So you go to Twitter, yeah, no, right? Yeah, I'm about to see the black or raids in a second. Account. You click on settings. You click on stream settings right below that, scroll down a little bit, and you will see the raid section. All you have to do is select one of the two options, only allow raids from friends or block all raids. Damn, I mean, my expectations were low, but holy shit, dude, it actually took a fucking doctor. It took <laughs> a goddamn gynecologist to teach you how to turn off fucking raids. If you are that butthurt, if you are waking up in the morning fucking crying, one, because you're a pussy, 
and two, because you do not like getting raids on Twitch, there is a very simple fix. One, just don't be a fucking soft ass, charming, ultra strong individual or turn off the raids. I don't get it. I truly do not get it. This has got to be a fucking mental illness, bro. And I'm glad at least one person agrees with me. Now, I don't know this guy. I've never seen his content. I guess he goes by the name of Asmund Gold. Um, he came out with a quote that said, Nobody gives a fuck if you take the day off. Nobody <laughs> knows who you are. That's the truth, he said. You can't get a bunch of 20 small streamers together and think they're going to do anything. Nobody gives a fuck. Honestly, bro, I couldn't have said it any better yeah. myself. Do you really think a he reputable bully, streamer like bully, someone honest. who's actually known in the community, such as like Nick Merckx or Tim the Tatman, dudes who wake up and make thousands and thousands of dollars for turning on their goddamn webcam, is just going to say to themselves, like, you know what? Maybe we'll just take the day off. You know, the, these idiots think that my employer isn't woke enough. They don't respect the communities out How here nowadays. Yeah, that's just simply never going to fucking happen. I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I really don't. The fact that these people think they can really make a big difference in the community by not streaming for a single day is actually fucking laughable. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know why? Because Twitch doesn't make money from your channel in the first place. But even if they did, right, let's say hypothetically speaking, Tfue comes out as gay, he's LGBTQ now, and he wants to get involved with the movement. Tfue decides to not stream for one day. Do you really think Twitch is going to be pissed about that? They're like, oh my god, we're losing so much no, money. Not, if you not. really want to make a big difference in Twitch's pocketbooks, take a goddamn week off, at least, like a bare minimum. <laughs> take a fucking month off for crying out loud. But like one day, really? You really think one day, 24 hours of no streaming or watching Twitch is just gonna fucking bankrupt the company? I mean, at the same time, this, this is man a is a hard, hard, hard that don't sweat even know which man. Fucking bathroom to use nowadays, so I, I can't say I'm surprised. I really can't. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all that's so crazy. much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. OMG, it's Birdman Archive, Joseph, and Dirt Grub. I appreciate the fucking hell out of you guys. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms out there. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Good try, good try. Oh my God. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.